So to load a single piece IOL, we'll usually be using a C cartridge or a D cartridge, I think C for acrylic. And the entire goal is to be using the top of the cartridge first to push the leading haptic of the IOL over the actual optic, just like that. And then with the forceps, tucking the trailing haptic over the optic as well. So the whole IOL will be moving through the cartridge like a taco. So again, leading using the cartridge and then tucking the trailing haptic with the forceps. So first we'll open our IOL and we'll place a little cohesive OVD, a little dot on both the optic of the IOL and a little bit on the cartridge off to the side that we'll use to dip the IOL in once we retrieve it. And then we'll also fill the cartridge from both the front and the back to make sure it's all the way full of OVD as well. So now using non-toothed forceps, we'll very carefully take the IOL by the haptic optic junction and dip the other side of the optic in that OVD we left off to the side. So now it's on both sides. And then using that tucking motion, we'll use the cartridge to actually tuck the leading haptic over the optic. Then we'll grab the trailing haptic with our forceps, tuck that over the optic as well, and we'll advance the entire IOL into the cartridge. Then we'll take our injector and we'll snap it into place. We should feel and hear a snap. As we advance the plunger, we can see it's starting to push the IOL through the cartridge now. And we'll push that down until we can engage the screw portion at the top. And once we engage that screw and start twisting, we'll notice the IOL is advancing in the cartridge in a much slower, more controlled way. And we advance it until it gets to really the edge of the cartridge, and now it's ready for implantation.